You know, you mentioned that she, you, your friend? Kemper, uh, Elaine Camperon. Camperon. The, the wonderful harpsichord yeah, player. Yeah, she holds the, but it's written to be held. Okay, let's see what the manuscript They're looks like. Notes. Oh, that, yeah, but I meant of going across and from measure to measure. No, but you, you, it's not necessary with, if you don't In use, terms of sustain. If you don't use the pedal, certainly harpsichordists try to compensate for a dryness that right. can occur, right? Right. So harpsichordists would do this. Okay. They would hold all the notes. Right, right. right. With their hands, manually sustained. Finger pedaling. It's called finger it. pedaling. Okay, that's an interesting word. So now Andres Schiff played all the preludes and fugues recently. No pedal. With no pedal. And he believes in no pedal. Yes, yeah, so he says, well, the clavichord didn't have a pedal. So you're going to play on a piano the instrument requires the pedal. It's what Anton Rubinstein said, it's the soul of the piano. Right. And But you can ruin Bach by overpedaling. Right. So there's so something... So I think it would be so terrible when pianists do this. Pedal. I think that used to be me. Pedal. That's me. <laughs> I, know, I changed these, my mind. <laughs> then these notes are clouded. Right. So what I do is after the E... Good. I put the pedal, and the reason I do that is because here is a broken chord, yes. right. and this is a little less. I pedal, right, and lighten it, and I pe and I pe and I like to even play that less. That's what I was saying. What I was saying is, when you have two C major broken chords, the second half of the measure is lifting up. But there are two things that I'm okay. discussing. All right. Within the first part of the measure, okay. I make the next, the last three notes less. I see. And now I make the whole thing less. Yeah. yeah. Within the same pattern. Right. right. So I'm going. Let's hear it. Less. Lean. Less. Right. Lean. Third measure. Yes. Feel about it. Fourth Resolve. measure less. Now really lean, right? And then, and then. That was beautiful. So when I teach it, this is what I do. I make the pupil divide everything into bar lengths. Okay. One. That's two, how I do it. Three. In that case, three is less. Yeah. One Big. forte piano. Yeah, you know, forte, that's I feel the same way about it. Piano. No. Piano. Dominant. More. More. Less. Less. You and then lean. You do, you do the same. I do the same thing. That's how I feel about okay. it. Okay, and the whole thing culminates on this big pedal. Yeah, you're looking for the so climax. Now, that's wonderful. I love what he does with dissonance. And now I make a little retard. Right. 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 Pedal no, after no. the fifth finger. Keep it back. Now it's one great big line. Big long line of crescendo, yes. I take the pedal off, do you? Right. No pedal. You don't. On the last, right, D, F, E, D. So here's where you would take it off on the D, F, E, D. I take it all off. Oh, completely? Yes. So you're off the pedal. Because, listen. That's with the pedal. See, too much, too that's much. That's not a melody, that's a broken chord. Right, right, right. Here's a melody. So you're thinking melodically over that, of course. So see, I go 
crashing right. into the that's sea. That's your that's your uh, climax. So that I can make a diminuendo. So, so if I do this, like many people do, right. And that's what probably I, I would find done. that the code lays an egg. Sounds like climax. Can't, can't do anything. It's a climax. So this is this is what I do. Watch here. Seven of the subdominant. So he's bringing out the subdominant here. It's the dominant of a of, dominant. Right, right. right. Of, of, of so you're sub, making yeah. a big harmonic. Yeah, so explosion. right at that moment. Right. Flushes it out. I love this change here. Yes. And then, and you roll the end to the seat, to the tonic. Yeah, you one can do anything. You're listening for the advanced seat. It's a wonderful you interpretation.